The secret to any charging or rapid charging station is taking AC current and converting it to direct current. Most electric vehicles can convert AC to DC, but they can't handle much power. AC or alternating current electricity is excellent for sending power over long distances, but it's not great for charging batteries. DC is great for charging batteries, but it can't travel long distances through the power lines. The charging cable or adapter that comes with most electric vehicles is like using a space saver spare. It can get the customer where they need to go, but it can be inconvenient. With these types of chargers, it might take eight to 12 hours to get a full charge. And forget about a quick top up to give you enough range. Rapid charging stations can quickly charge a battery in just a few hours using direct current power. If you need a little more range, these chargers can add 20 to 30% of a charge in just 20 minutes. This is where things get complicated. The Society of Automotive Engineers, or SAE, worked together to develop the standard J1772 connector to handle level one, 110 volt, or level two, 220 volt charging. With the additional connectors, the J1772 connector can handle DC power. Most electric vehicles use this type of connector, except for Tesla. Tesla superchargers use a proprietary connector and interface, so electric vehicles can't use their charging points. But that's changing. The thing you gotta remember is Tesla connector in their design, it came out before J1772. But if a driver of let's say a Ford Lightning F-150 pulled into a supercharger, when the driver inputs their information, a small door will open to reveal a J1772 compliant connector. What does this mean for the aftermarket? Well, the market for cables, adapters, and chargers will grow as more vehicles are sold and more charge points are installed. Also, the used electric vehicle market, it's gonna heat up and look for that second or third owner looking for a charger and adapters for both their home and work. I'm Andrew Markell coming to you from the Bimpack EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.